Well guys, I had a pretty exciting morning. I got down here in Georgetown, nice and early. Got up on the hillside, had these birds roosted right above me. Oh, had a, I started gobbling and started cutting. I got, I got cutting back and forth with a hen. Next thing you know, I had four or five hens pitch right over top of my head, land right in the field in front of me. Next thing you know, I had these <clears throat> five jakes come in to my left, snuck out in the field, started coming towards my decoy. They really didn't want to fool with it. Um, they all looked like small jakes to me, and oh, by the time they got far enough away, I could pull the binoculars up. I saw that the lead one was a pretty decent time. He had, he had a pretty cool beard on him. It was multicolored. So they walked off and uh, I made a move down to this ground blind I've got set up and I set my decoy out, did a little calling. Next thing you know, I got a Tom coming across the field. He got up high on my decoy. He just wouldn't come into it. Sat up on this hilltop up here for, uh, God, I don't know how long, a good half hour just watching my decoy. Finally, he decided to walk down. I got him in a field probably about about 30 40 yards out took a shot and dropped him it's been a good day take a look at him my decoy here Some nice spurs on them. That's a bit more than a poke than I thought it was. I'm going to say it's probably pushing 45, 50 yards. Well, boys, here he is. <laughs> it's a good one. Got a nice beard on him. Measured it already. It's about eight inches. Some pretty decent spurs. I haven't measured them yet, but. Uh, you can see, it ain't too shabby. Pretty happy, pretty proud of myself. You guys have a good day.